Let us turn to another hadith, another statement of the Prophet ﷺ, which is of crucial importance. It is also in Sahih Muslim. <coughs> he said that when the Antichrist is released, he will live on earth for 40 days. 40 days. Yawmun kasana One day Like a year Yawmun kashahr One day Like a month Yawmun kajum'a One day Like a week Wasairu ayyamihi ka ayyamikum And all his days Implying all the rest of his days would be like your days. When his day, now listen carefully, <coughs> when his day is like our day, he would be in our dimension of time. And when he is in our dimension of time, then we can see him. At that time, of course, he would be, said the Prophet ﷺ, a Jew, a young man, powerfully built, with curly hair. Where would he be at that time? Of course, he would be in Jerusalem, ruling the world from Jerusalem. The Prophet said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam about Dajjal. That he would ride on a donkey. And the donkey would travel as fast as the clouds. And the donkey would have his ears stretched out wide. My opinion, which I hope you will share with me, is that that donkey is already here in the world. This is religious symbolism with which we began the lecture. The donkey is the modern aircraft. And since the Antichrist brings with him the modern aircraft, the Antichrist commands the skies. You can't, you cannot compete with him or rival him in power in the skies above. That when the Jal is released in a day which is like a year, and Britain is his headquarters. I notice as a student of international relations, I notice that Britain strangely, strangely, strangely becomes the ruling state in the world. Come on, you explain to me. How do you explain a little obscure island off the coast of Europe which never walked on the stage of history? An island that Napoleon contemptuously dismissed as a nation of shopkeepers. How do you explain that that little island establishes its rule over the whole world Pax Britannia. Britain rules the world. I want to suggest to you tonight that the only man who can explain the emergence of Britain as the ruling state in the world at the time when it emerged is a man named Muhammad. Allah's blessings be upon you. And the explanation is that this is the work of the Antichrist. 
In 1914, if you would go back and do some research, you will find as yet <coughs> air power has not as yet come. Your armies commanded the land and your navy commands the sea. And Britain, Britain controls the seas of the world. In 1914, Britain commanded every strategic naval port in the whole world. This was not by accident. It is time for us to sit back now and read history once again. It is because Britain was poised at that moment, commanding the seas around the world. And when Britain was on her knees, facing defeat, Britain, which was the ruling state in the world, is now facing defeat. Then the German Jews went to the British government and said, let's make a deal. If you will promise to give us the Holy Land, we'll bring the United States into the war on your side. Britain said, deal. You will see all of this on the last day. And so the United States entered into the war. And Britain won the war. In the process, the Ottoman Islamic Empire was defeated, was dismembered. And the Holy Land was liberated for the Jews. And so an act of terrorism led to this strategic target being achieved, the liberation of the Holy Land. But now the United States takes over from Britain as the new ruling state in the world. In the same way that Britain had a mysterious relationship with the Holy Land and with the Jews, the United States now has that mysterious relationship with the Holy Land and with the Jews. The first country in the world to recognize the state of Israel is the United States of America. Is that by accident? No, not after today's lecture. You'll never think it's by accident. The United States presents the baby with everything that the baby needs to grow up to become not only a strong man, but a superpower. Massive economic aid. Massive military aid. Massive transfer of cutting edge military technology. Some from the front door, a lot from the back door. And Israel grows and prospers. What is the explanation? The Jal has completed a day which is like a year and he's now in a day which is like a month. Phase two of his mission. We are located at that moment in time when a day which is like a month is about to end and the day which is like a week is about to commence. The first ruling state was Britain. The second ruling state was the United States. The third and the last would be this imposter, the state of Israel. I am suggesting to you that Dajjal or the Antichrist would now have completed stage two, a day which is like a month and would be commencing stage three a day which is like a week.